We are back with Dr. Renee Renardi, and we're talking about replacing toxic thoughts. Dr. Renardi, thank you for joining us. We're talking about identifying those toxic thoughts. Now, of course, we want to replace them, right? That's right. And it sounds so simple, but like so many things in psychology, we just don't do it. So in the first step of being able to identify, what do I tell myself? It's kind of, I would say, we all have our internal soap operas. Uh, we've been telling ourselves the same things for decades. It's um, kind of like watching an old soap opera. Uh, I haven't watched Days of Our Lives for probably 30 years. If I turned it on in three days, I'd be totally caught up because the script just doesn't change that much. Ours sometimes don't either unless we actively intervene. So we have to first read our script. And that's what we were just talking about. Being able to identify what do I tell myself? Once we do that, um, and that's a big task in and of itself is to gain awareness of our automatic thoughts, then we want to be able to challenge them. In order to challenge the automatic thoughts, we want to ask ourselves, wait a second, are these automatic thoughts true? Do I know for a fact that's the way that it is? Once in a while, automatic thoughts are true. So if I ask myself, do I stink at basketball? Yes, that automatic thought is true. But that's why the second one is in there. Is it helpful? No, it's not helpful to just walk around and say, oh, I stink at basketball, right? So we want to challenge it. Is there any other way to think about the situation? And thankfully, most of the time, the answer is yes. There are other ways to view challenging situations and to get through it in a more productive way. And so and once we identify what we're telling ourselves, whether it's true or not, oftentimes not true, but usually not helpful, we want to be able to replace that. And that's the final step of cognitive restructuring, being able to replace it with a rational response. What is a more positive way to view the situation? And not only positive, but realistic. I don't want to tell myself, oh, hey, actually, I'm pretty good at basketball, when that just isn't true. That's not going to be helpful for me. So I might want to use some problem solving. So maybe I'm not very good at basketball. That's okay. Maybe I put some effort into practicing. I'll watch some YouTube videos on how to do a layup shot or I'll, you know, go to my local park and practice some hoops, right? So we can take some problem solving steps to help get ourselves unstuck. So we want to really work on that process. And once we start to come up with some rational responses, and this is oftentimes more difficult for people than they think, um, then we want to look at, you know, how does that thought make me feel, right? How much do I believe this thought? And what might my next step be? Uh, so once I've kind of identified some rational responses, I want to ask myself, wait, does that work for me? Um, what would I do next? And to break things down into small steps so we can really be good advocates for ourselves and being able to change out of difficult situations. I really... I really like this information and this advice. You kind of have to own it, it sounds like. Identify it yourself and then take the first steps yourself. Absolutely. We all, you know, we oftentimes go through life on autopilot, especially when we're going through stressful times. And I would say right now what we're going through traumatic times. Um, many of us just witnessed uh a lot that's happened um, over just even this last week. And so it's really important to step back and shut off autopilot and really take a look at how am I doing? How am I feeling? Um, how am I acting toward other people? Uh, and to really put ourselves into check so that we can be good advocates, um, not only for our own well being, um, but to dig deep and be a good advocate for other people in our communities as well. Dr. Renee Renardi, thank you so much for joining us today. Toxic thoughts, how to identify and replace them. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next on North Coast Today, the Red Cross and the Fargo Force are putting on a blood drive. We have all the details for you next.